Today is October 29th, it's 2014, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good morning. I know what you're thinking. What are we Everything think? that's happened has already happened. Is that what everybody's thinking? That's what everybody's <laughs> thinking. Everything that's going to happen has already happened. Well, that's not quite <laughs> true. No, this is a busy time of year, I'm Wayne. There's a lot oh, going on. Oh, my goodness. And by the way, if you plan on voting early, the one-stop voting for the midterm election still underway today the 29th that means you have Hi. today and then friday no today and then the 30th the 31st and the first mm -hmm. which is saturday that's right saturday's the last day right saturday's the last day and saturday you can vote early from nine o'clock in the morning until one in the afternoon and uh, otherwise uh, during the week the rest of this week it's 11 a.m till 7 p.m and you can vote in one of the five uh, places, uh, election places that you, the polling places that you can go and vote. <laughs> and, and what's the website again to find website out more information? Again, to find out more information, you go to the website, WayneVotesEarly.com. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And thank you very much for that. Reminding everyone, tomorrow night, on Friday, yeah. is, um, of course, Friday, October the 31st. Yeah. It will be, wait a minute. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Friday night. trick or treating trick for or the treating, little yeah. ones. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Yes, Halloween. Halloween. So, reminding you, the official hours are from 6 until 8 p.m. Please be safe. Keep your children safe. Um, take flashlights. Wear reflective gear. It is very difficult when you are driving through all of these different neighborhoods to see all the children running here and there. And yeah. we want to keep everyone as safe as possible. Yes. We'll please. also give you another option where you can go out to the Cliffs of the New State Park. Mm -hmm. That's from 6.30 until 9. And they're doing mm -hmm. something a little bit different. It's called Trunk or Treat. Yeah. Where they're having uh, cars in a circle mm -hmm. get in the parking lot right there at the Cliffs of the Noose. Pop up your trunk. Have candy in your trunks. And Wait children a minute. You're getting mighty personal here to <laughs> pop up your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and kids can walk from car to car. <laughs> greet the folks. And that's how they get their candy. Boy, you just slid right yeah, by that, didn't you? <laughs> not going there. Not going there. <laughs> But they're okay. showing movies and all kinds of fun stuff yeah, that night. Yeah, that is great. Plus, <laughs> keep in mind that we, and I'm sure that there's other places as well, but there's oh, yes. several, uh, several things going on at the mall. Yeah, lo yeah places, local places Churches. of worship, having places, uh, having events as well. So that's these, right. The, uh, the whole idea is to be safe. Mm -hmm. That's the Have whole fun, idea. Be safe. And speaking of being safe, yes, please, and you know, and I should have been mentioning this for the entire school year so far, but here it is, uh, October, almost the end of October. And every morning during the week, the school bus is out on the highway, oh, yes. and then the, the, the times are changing because the, the sun is later coming up during the day for a while. Days are getting shorter, so it's dark outside when many of these youngsters are out uh, mm -hmm. waiting for the school bus. So I'll encourage you to please slow down, to, particularly in residential areas That's where right. you drive every morning because it's dark out there and it could be a child standing next to the highway. So you want to be very cautious as you drive through neighborhoods. And watch out for those uh, those youngsters standing on the side of the road waiting for the bus please one more thing i was talking to cindy stollard um yesterday one of the things that she's really encouraging along with many of the nurses across our county and state mm -hmm. get your flu shot oh yeah get your flu shot yeah. um she's pushing hard pleasing encouraging us telling us to please encourage folks to go out get your flu shots try to stay as safe as you can through this fall and winter season let me add to that. Okay. People, there. I hear people who say, no, I don't, I've never gotten a flu shot. I don't want a flu shot. I don't need a flu shot. But think about somebody besides yourself. Yeah. Because uh, you may be a carrier and, and, uh, and not be sick yourself. You may, you may have that flu virus bug that mm -hmm. you can spread around without being sick yourself. So come on now. Think about your family. Think about your coworkers and uh, get that flu shot. The flu shot, I keep hearing people say it, does, it made me sick. Well, no, it doesn't make you sick. Now, you may, you may have an, a response from it, but it does not make you sick. The, what's injected into you from that flu vaccine are dead cells. They cannot make you sick. That's right. right. So that's let's right. do that. Get and with the program. lots of this needs to be going on. Oh, yeah. Hand washing, that's the most important thing you can do. Oh, yes. Right, Cindy was telling us to remind folks through this holiday season and through the um, winter months, to keep that in mind. All right. All I right. believe it's time to get our interviews, Wayne. So stay with us.
Today we have guests from the University of Mount Olive. Wow! Glad to have you here. How you doing? Very well, thank Frank you. Frank Gross, good to see you. Good to see you, Wayne. And Francine Cook, thank how you. are you? Very well. Now we have two, actually two programs, but we want to talk about the music department. We want to talk about the Alumni Association. All right? Mm -hmm. First of all, we'll, we'll start with Frank Gross over here. Frank, uh, what do you do in the music department? I'm the music theory area coordinator, really? and I also teach piano lessons to some of our freshmen and sophomores. What is music theory? What does that mean? Music theory is a lot like music science. In fact, I'm thinking <laughs> well, about... What does that mean? <laughs> right, yeah, uh, which makes a lot of people take theory one and then not necessarily go on to theory two unless you're really devoted to music. Right. So we get into the science of music, the mathematics of music, and okay. then they practice music in more of their lessons and ensemble courses. So. You mentioned mathematics in music. People don't realize how mathematical music is. Absolutely. I'm thinking be. about writing a textbook called Musical Mathematics that would be for theory one and two, whereas theory three and four would then go on to more contextual listening and score study. If you don't know the math, if you don't know the science, you can't understand what you're looking at, what you're playing. I think I know. No, I really don't know what you said. <laughs> I'll just go with it. How's that? Great. Okay, whatever works. But uh, how large is the department? The department has about 50 music majors and uh, minors, and we have a choir, a band, also some smaller ensembles, chamber choir, yeah. uh, jazz ensemble, and I'll be talking a little bit about those today. And the music department is, uh, is uh, tried and true. Been there a long time, doing a wonderful job. It has, and I'm one of the new guys on campus, so I'm kind of getting my feet wet, but I'm having a great time. I've oh, been here really? just a couple months. So, really? Yes, sir. So, where, where you, you came here from? Directly from Macon, Georgia, deep in the heart of Georgia. Yeah, it's right square in the middle of the That's state. That's right. So, there uh, an Air Force base there? Right. Warner Robins? Warner Robins, yep. And worked a little bit in Macon, Warner Robins, Fort Valley, yeah. so I was a little bit all over the map in central Georgia. Taught me to love a small town, so I'm oh, having yeah. a great time here in North well, Carolina. Well, that's great. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome to Wayne County. Thank you, Wayne. Francine, tell us all about the Alumni Association. The Alumni Association is very active on campus. We are responsible for planning a lot of activities. I've been involved for about 10 years, and I am the current president of the Alumni Association. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of work goes into that. A lot, that. Of, work, a lot yeah. of work and planning. So uh, uh, the Alumni Association, how many, uh, how many members or how, how large Anyone is Anyone who's been an active member in good standing with the university is a member of the Alumni Board. Okay. So we have a very large base. And you have a lot of activities. We do. You Several large events during the year. Keep them mm -hmm. going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's coming up? Coming up is our um, homecoming weekend combined with Pickle Classic. Wonderful. Very and excited about that. What are the dates on that? The dates are November the 20th, the weekend before Thanksgiving, 20th, 21st, 22nd. All right. We'll talk some more about that okay. in just a moment. Frank, uh, back to the music department now. Mm. Uh, what did you want to bring to the table today about the music department? Tell us all about it. Today, Wayne, I wanted to discuss three events that are upcoming uh, in November and with the hopes that the community will join us. At the University of Mount Olive, we put on lots of concerts that are totally free, very enjoyable, and present a wide variety of styles of music. Uh, the first two events are for larger ensembles, and they're both in the same location on the same day of the week at the same time. Really? So on November okay. 6th, which is a Thursday at 6.30, in Historic Assembly Hall on the campus of the University of Mount Olive, we'll hear from the symphonic band conducted by the chair of the music department, William Ford. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, on uh, November 20th, we'll have a choir concert also in Historic Assembly Hall okay. uh, on a Thursday at 7.30. That will be conducted by Dr. Carl Ashley, Director of Choral Activities. And I want to throw in a little plug for uh, a more intimate presentation that I'll be doing the following morning, Friday, November 21st at 9 a.m. in Rogers Chapel, a chapel that I have a feeling a lot of people in the community have been to and yes. they know the warm feeling when you walk in. We're going to present lots of music from people that are associated with the University of Mount Olive in some way, but not necessarily just faculty or students, music faculty, music students. So we're going to have some staff members and anybody from the community that wants to present maybe their favorite hymn, their favorite spiritual oh, song. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. And what's the date on that again? That's November 21st, November 21st. Friday morning at 9 a.m. And I'll be performing the program's called The Songs We Sing. And closing the program will be a wonderful rendition of Blessed Assurance by Dean David Hines. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, that, that's, that is a great program there for the, for the entire month. 
you have a lot going on there during yes, the month of November, just before Thanksgiving. So That's right. So yeah. we hope that this will uh, set the mood for a wonderful Thanksgiving week to follow. All right. Gee whiz. All right, can, can the Alumni Association top all that? Probably not. Probably. We're going to try. We're <laughs> no. going to try. No, but you do stay busy. You have a lot of we things do. going on. We do. We do start Thursday with an art show and the concert that I was talking about mm -hmm. at the Assembly Hall, 7.30 um, Thursday evening. The date, what's the date on the that? 20th, 20, the 20th. Okay. Thursday the 20th. All right. And then Friday morning November 20th. Okay. at noon, we start, we start off with our Alumni Golf Tournament. Okay. It's a big event. Southern Wayne Country Club. Oh, yeah. That's all the golfers like to come. They do. Um, How does someone become a part of that? Can they, um, they can register online. Great. Register At umo.edu. Uh, register online, yes. Okay. Good. Okay, sign up for that. <coughs> um, the golfers will receive prizes and dinner there. Mm -hmm. It's always a great time. Um, that evening, we start off with a pickle classic, basketball. Barton College will be playing Bluefield State, and that starts at 5 p.m. Uh, following by our own Mount Olive Trojans playing at 7.30 against Virginia State. Woo, go with Trojans! Pickle, with the Pickle right. Classic. That's great, yeah. It's yeah. always fun to combine, combine Pickle Classic with Homecoming. Yes. That great atmosphere. Wonderful. All right, and the date okay. on the Homecoming again is? Uh, November 21st. 21st, mm -hmm. next day. Friday, yeah. Friday the 21st. That is Friday, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah, that's the Friday before Thanksgiving, right? Right. All right. Okay, just okay. a lot of things going on. And Saturday morning we start off with a 5K trot. You can walk, run, or trot around campus. Right. Um, and then um, we have our women are going to play basketball game. They're going to play at 12 p.m. against Pembroke. And then we have alumni softball game, and we have our athletics hall of fame, and then followed by the pickle classic games that evening. Wow, that is a great weekend. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's just fantastic. A lot of things going on. A lot on. of things going on. Right. Somebody could just go camp out, couldn't they? That's and just right. Take it all, all in. Along. Take <laughs> everything in all at all one time. Can. All right, it's uh, umo.edu, University of Mount Olive.edu, umo.edu. Frank, uh, welcome to Wayne County again. Glad you're here. Thank you, Wayne. Glad to have you with us, Francine. Thank you. Always for having good. Us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here Thank today. Thank you for having us. <laughs> today in the studio, we welcome Tara Humphreys from Wayne Community College. Hey! Hi, Wayne. <laughs> Hi, Tara. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing so much oh, better. Oh, you are just such a joy. Oh, oh, go on. <laughs> it's so good to have you back in here with Thank us. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm excellent. I can't help but be. Why? Everything's hopping at the oh, college. I know. And just such good stuff happening that we want the whole world to know about, and you're allowing me to do that. I'll tell you what. If people have no business at Wayne Community College. If they don't know anything about Wayne Community College, they should go look at it. It is a beautiful campus. It's, a, it's one, of, one, of the, one of our proud points here in Wayne County. It's just a great place. Yeah, we're proud of it. Besides all that, it's a fantastic right. uh, learning institution. Well, it is. And, you know, we've recently opened a walking trail at the back of it that we would love for people to come check out. Can anybody? Any exercise stations? Yes, Do they, they have can. to have a library card or anything uh, like we, that? We haven't issued any walking <laughs> passes <laughs> yet, but it's, it's behind our tennis courts okay. and love for folks to do that. Okay. And, of course, as part of Go Wayne Go. Yeah, well, yes, of course, part of, of course. Go Wayne Go. Yeah, so if you're in the need to kind of walk off walk, commune you, with nature, commune. escape a little while, come out and check out our trail. Yeah, okay. And uh, that's one of the new bright spots in the bright spot that well, is Wayne Community College. Is it? Is it? Is there a beginning and an end, or is it in a circular? It's a loop. Is it, it is it a is loop? It is a loop. It is a loop de loop. And eventually the plans are to connect it to what the hospital's doing, right. to our other trails in this county, and uh, we can loop the county. All right, all right. So <laughs> We're truly going to get people moving. That's, yeah, and that's great. That's the whole idea behind Go Wayne Go, get people moving, get them exercising, right. and having a good time. See, when people say exercise, they say, oh, I don't want to do that, oh, I, I yeah. don't want to do that. But so, if you get out there and you're, mm -hmm. and you're walking and you're talking and you're having a good time, you don't realize that's you're right. exercising. And we have incorporated eight exercise stations into it. So you can do a little walking and then a few chin-ups, a little hey, walking you know. and a few sit-ups. Mm -hmm. How yes, about that? I'll tell you what. Yeah, appropriate that's heights for people who are short like me. Well, I'm kind of close to the ground myself, you know. Uh, it's yeah. better when you start to fall. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have as far to go, right? <laughs> right. 
Okay, <laughs> Tara Humphreys, what's going on at Wayne Community College? Um, well, let's let's handle the business end first. The business end. The business end okay. is that we're already thinking about spring semester. I know. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's not it's even cold barely yet. fall. Barely yes. fall. Okay. But we are going to be registering for spring semester actually ah. in November, November 17th through 21st is okay. our first registration period. Okay want people to go ahead and do the things that they need to do to become a Wayne Community College student so that they can register on those dates. The schedule is already on our website. Okay. I'm sure there's something there that everyone would like to take. Is that waynecc.edu? It is okay. indeed. Waynecc.edu. You can go online. Can you register online? You cannot until you're already a student. Until so you're already students, a student. They, we don't want them to come in. Well, yeah. Yeah. Can, Talk yeah. to a counselor, yeah. figure out your path, yeah. um, figure out what you're going to do about paying. We yeah. have lots of options well, there. Part of and it, our financial yeah. aid office will help. We have a new payment plan that they can actually register for online. They need to do that FAFSA, the free federal yeah. aid. They yeah. need to do all of those things so that when they are ready to register for those fabulous classes that we're offering in the spring, they're they're ready to go. I'll tell you what, I think the greatest thing that ever happened in education in Wayne in in North Carolina is for the mm. community college Absolutely. system to get to get cranked up. Mm -hmm. And one of the folks that was instrumental in that uh, was from right here in Wayne County. And uh, I, I won't mention it. Well, okay, go ahead. Well, he um <laughs> gone uh, blank. No, that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> It's okay, but but uh, he's from right here in Wayne County. But mm -hmm. there's 58 community colleges around the state, mm -hmm. and we're very proud of our community college here in Wayne County because not only do you get a fine education, but it doesn't cost as much. It is very inexpensive. And it is better than reasonable. And it's better than reasonable. And if you have, uh, if you're a young person, or if you are a middle-aged person, even an older person, you have plans to extend your your education. The best way in the world to start is Wayne Community College. And the quality is there. Quality is we there. We know from those who go into the workforce, we have very pleased employers. We know from those who transfer to other schools that they start better than on par That's right. with other students of the, you know, say that are also juniors. Exactly so right. So we know that we're doing um, an excellent job of preparing people. Plus you might want to just kind of stick your toe in the water because you may not know where you want to be mm -hmm. five, 10, 12 years from now. Um, I am a big proponent of a liberal arts education. Yeah, do do a little bit. Try the sociology. Try yeah. the psychology. Yeah. Try the intro type classes yeah. and see what you like first because it takes a lot of us a long time to figure out what we're going to be when we grow up. I and still that's don't okay. know. I still don't know. Uh, that's right. I thought and either an astronaut or an Indian chief or maybe, a, I don't know. And instead I'm you're still a TV host. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, you know. <laughs> But anyway. Thank goodness you've got the voice in the face. For well, me. I don't know about that. But anyway, what else we got going on here? <laughs> we have big, big events. Big on events. November 6th, we yes. have our Worldview Lecture. We have one every semester. And this is, to make sure I don't slaughter his name, Javier Diaz de Leon, okay. who is the Consul General in Raleigh oh. of Mexico. Oh, okay. And, uh, we, don't know. A lot of people don't know that we have a diplomat right here in our state. He serves North Carolina and South Carolina, and he's one of 55 consul generals in this country, and he's right down the road. One of 55 in the entire country, and we have the Mexican consulate right here in Raleigh, and, and he's right, gonna, up, right up the road here. So he's going to uh, come talk about the relationship that we have between our state and the country of Mexico, a relationship that until I started finding out why we're inviting him, I didn't know was so fabulous. We are the second largest market for, how do I put this? Um, they are, excuse me, they are the second largest market for North Carolina goods. Oh. And they provide the second largest share of imported goods. Oh. So China beats them by a bit, mm -hmm. but, but uh, Mexico. those things that we bring in, they are our biggest import-export partner. Close, yes. Uh, except for China. Except for China. And mm -hmm. I wish we could correct that, but we can't. But anyway. Yeah. So, uh, so Senor De Leon will be, will be here in Goldsboro, mm -hmm. at, uh, or rather in Mount Olive, uh, at, uh, oh, I mean in, in Goldsboro, Goldsboro, at Wayne Community <laughs> College. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I just moved the whole college, yeah. <laughs> but uh, at the Wayne Community College. That's right. And, on November uh, 6th. All right. At 7 p.m. in Moffat Auditorium, free lecture. 
And if you'd like to talk to the man in person, we will have a reception afterwards. You know, contrary to what some people may believe, Mexico is indeed our ally. <laughs> and they have been since, I guess, the middle or the early yeah. 1800s, since eight, after 1836, of course. Right. But um, uh, since that time, uh, we've, been, we've been allies. We've been friends. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, this is gonna be he's going to talk. talk. It will be an interesting talk. So yeah. um, he's going to kick off basically our, our international festival, which is the next day. Okay. And so from 930 to 1 in our atrium of the Wayne Learning Center and in Moffitt Auditorium, We'll be having performances and displays from different countries, 30-some different countries. Really? That this student well, there's only 200 to start with. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, anyway. we're, we're, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're going to have a pretty good we'll chunk there yeah. that people can come and learn about and um, come and see, like I said, performances. 30 of different countries? 30 different countries. Wow. That is I'm great. I'm very pleased. Uh, it is a great experience. Cause that's, that's great. Because you think you know about you know, all about Italy or all about France. Yeah. But inevitably, they bring something yeah. into the picture that we didn't hey. we didn't know. Italy's more um, than just pizza, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> huh? Actually, I like our pizza better. I have okay. tried <laughs> Bend around. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're in Rome. Yeah, you can see Indian dance. Um, we're going to have actually three groups of our of school children from around the county come really? perform for us. African dance, uh, and a mariachi band. Oh my oh, yeah, it's gonna be that one's gonna be fun. Oh, oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a, a Japanese uh, martial arts group that we have on campus is going to tell us a story through movement. Oh, that's good. Uh, the oh, I story. love that. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to all of those performances again, open to the public. Every, anybody and, and, and everybody. And free and free. And it got the so, yes, Nine thirty to one o'clock on on November seven. Please, please, please join us for that. 9.30 mm -hmm. to 1 o'clock, January. January? November. November? November. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> November 7th. We are moving the campus and the, uh, and and the, the calendar. Day and the calendar as well. <laughs> this is the year we 1953. Have hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then, All right, November 7th. Mm -hmm. Okay. So November right. 6th, we have our Consul General. Right. That night, the next day, we have our International Festival. International Ties Festival. In nicely. Okay. Then we're going to move things. A little closer to home and let's celebrate our own on November 10 we have um, a veteran celebration wonderful and we're gonna honor not only our veterans but anyone serving in the military we want to thank them all so active and and retired that's right so at 1 p.m. at our veterans monument that a lot of people don't even know we have they it's don't a know gorgeous gorgeous monument it's a beautiful veterans it monument is. on the campus of Wayne Community mm -hmm. College um, five-sided. Yeah. It's got an emblem for each of the branches and a lovely eagle on the top. Indeed. But so many people have seen our first responder monument right. and don't realize that that is right there beside it. So we're going to do something to change that. We're going to have our ceremony out there. Wonderful. Again, public invited. Um, we're going to have G.K. Butterfield as our guest speaker and um, a few patriotic songs. What time Some of the day does from that our begin? President at one o'clock. One p.m. at the Veterans Monument at Wayne Community, Community College, College, which is on, still in Goldsboro. On November. <laughs> <laughs> stop. <laughs> on November tenth. November tenth. Okay, 10. don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Go ahead. And then, um, just wanted to do a save the date for December four, which is our Fine Arts Festival. Oh, okay. So that evening, six p.m., we'll have our have a great art display. We've been really impressed with the things that Angie Waller's students have been putting out. And then at 7, we'll have a great concert, and that's Brad Collier's Chorus. Oh. And he is doing Christmas in New York. Oh, really? I think he that's going to be interesting, with a little help from some friends. Well, of course. <laughs> the Beatles will be there, ladies and gentlemen, with a little help from his... No, it's somebody mm, else will be there. Somebody else. Okay, it'll be with a little help of his friends, <laughs> from his friends. Uh, a uh, Christmas in New York. Christmas in New York at Wayne Community College. What's the date on, on that? On December four. Again, free. Free. Open to the public. And it doesn't cost anything either. That's right. So when we were talking about how things are better than a bargain. Can't yeah. Beat free. The free is good. I like free. Mm -hmm. And always plenty of parking. Oh yeah, you do have a lot of that. Yes, we indeed. Do. Oh wow. So, is all this on the website? It is all on the website. Oh, wow. That's waynecc.edu. Or 
735-5151. We have um, people waiting to take your call. Yes, operators are standing by. <laughs> 735-5151, Wayne Community College. Yes. Wow, Terry, you've given us so much. My head is full of information. Whoa. Yeah, right, that too. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being with us. Tara Humphreys, the uh, public information person at Wayne Community College. Thank you. Bye. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. That's right. Today is the 29th of the month. That's Wednesday. My goodness. Yes, it Today is. Today's Wednesday. Where's the time going here? I don't know. Friday night, if people are looking something to do right downtown Goldsboro, what are they we've looking? got two mm -hmm. options for our Halloween trick or treat yeah. evening. Yeah. We've got a creepy crawl, oh, which boy. is going from restaurant to restaurant downtown Goldsboro. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed in costume. <laughs> Many of the restaurants that are participating oh, will be... Yeah. Uh, offering the best costume contest. Okay. There'll be drink specials, uh, food specials, live music, lots of fun things going on. You'll see signage up downtown mm. Goldsboro for those that are participating. Mm. And then the Chamber of Commerce is offering a Munster Bash. Now that's creepy. <laughs> if you want to find out more about that, you can call Wayne County Chamber of Commerce at 734-2241. Yes, 734-2241. If the date October 29th sticks in your mind for some reason, you can't yeah. figure out why, because it was it was a big day. Okay. A big day for a lot of loss. This day in 1929, October 29th, 1929, over 16 million shares traded in panic selling on the New York Stock Exchange, and thousands of investors were totally wiped out. Oh, wow. Totally wiped out. They lost everything. Prices plummeted. Millions lost billions. And the buying boom was over. The market crashed. Mm. There was an, an astrologer named Evangeline Adams. She had seen into the future and she predicted this was going to happen. Along with other events that actually occurred, like she predicted Lindbergh's flight and all that. Mm -hmm. But she did not listen to her own predictions. Uh -oh. She lost $100,000 that day. Oh my goodness. She should have sold instead of waiting. The Great Depression was underway. Now that's depressing. <laughs> yes, it is. This day, 1945, the first commercially made commercially made ballpoint pens went on sale. Well, thank you for sharing. Gimbel's Department Store. The first one sold for $12.50, and that was 1945. That was a very expensive ink pen. And uh, did quite well for itself in later years. Kate Jackson's having a birthday today. Charlie's Angel is 66. Oh, yes. She was also in The Rookies, and she was in a bunch of other stuff. Uh... 1961 sees the birth of Randy Jackson, Stephen Randall Jackson, one of the Jackson Five. He's 53 mm -hmm. today. Not Randy Jackson from American Idol. No, no, different. Different Randy. Different Randy, yeah. Uh, the uh, Jolie Fisher, mm -hmm. actress, I'll Do Anything, The Mask, In the Loop, Inspector Gadget, Nostradamus, Normal, Ohio, and Danny. She is 47 today. Birthday today for Winona Ryder, 43. Winona Ryder, 43 today. There you go. Young, young, young ladies. Just a child. Uh, just, just a, a child. child. Just a child. <laughs> 43 years. Uh, mark your calendars for Downtown Lights Up, November the 25th from 5 until 7. It's a free traditional lighting of the, <laughs> of the lights and the water tower. It will start our holiday season. It's held in front of City Hall with trolley rides, food, and fun activities. Of course, then you can just venture downtown, eat at one of the local restaurants. Then, if you're interested, the North Carolina Symphony will be playing their holiday pops at the Paramount Theater beginning at 8 p.m. Call ahead and get your tickets. Reserve your seats for that particular event. It is a wonderful, festive night. It is. It is. You will have no regrets. That's Downtown right. lights up, and mm -hmm. then eat dinner, and then go to the... the holiday to the, pops. Uh, and that is a wonderful event. Yes, it is. Let's see. October the uh, 29th is today. Aha! 10 o'clock this morning at the Senior Center. It is your arthritis exercise program. Mm -hmm. uh, also today at uh, 1230, the ceramics class, the jewelry group at 1230, and Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Mr. Chi will be performing <laughs> his Tai at uh, 4 o'clock this <laughs> afternoon. Tomorrow, the walking group, the painting group, the bingo, the bridge group, the pinochle, or the senior functional fitness testing, Zumba for seniors, and learn fitness equipment is all going on tomorrow, all day tomorrow, uh, at uh, the Senior Center, East Ash Street, Goldsboro. That place has added so much to our Amazing. community. It's it just helped. There were already a lot of people that were, t you know, using the Senior Center, but when they built the big, nice, gorgeous 
very functional center right mm -hmm. there on Ash Street. Mm -hmm. I mean, the membership has just expanded tremendously. And it is a fine, fine facility. It is an outstanding facility. We should be very proud. Uh, we certainly should. Uh, I am. Uh, and I understand that there are, are people from other counties, not mentioning any counties by name, but there are other counties, people who try to come over here and take advantage of that. Of course, they, they can't. I'm sorry. Just Wayne County. Just Wayne County citizens, 60 years and older. And occasionally there'll be a program where someone under 60 can participate. All right, and you can go to somewhere. You, you I'm go really somewhere. Sure. <laughs> go to the county's website, WayneGov.com, <laughs> and click on Services on Aging to go to the county's uh, senior center page. That's right. All right. And this is pretty far out there, but we've had quite a few calls. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. quite a few calls about the Christmas parade. Oh yeah. And when it will be, and if it will still be, and I'm, I'm sure it's because of so much construction happening downtown Goldsboro. Right. But absolutely, on December the sixth. At 4 p.m., we will still celebrate the season with our festive Christmas parade held downtown. Lineup will be in the same exact place as always. Right. And we will have additional information getting closer to the time on the small adjustments. And very quickly, the Mental Health Association of Wayne County today having a lunch and learn seminar, depression, identify signs that lead to suicide. That's today at noon. If you want to have lunch, that's fine. It's five bucks. You don't have to eat. That's today at noon at the Wages Multipurpose Room. Depression, today at noon, Wages Multipurpose Room. That's it for today. That we got to run. It. Yes, we do. See you tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time for Wayne Goldsboro Television. Until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.